Welcome Virgo to your love reading for the week of July 24th to the 30th of 2017. So this week the sun is now in Leo activating your 12th house of secrets, sorrows, closure, uh, psychic ability as well. It's letting go of things now, healing, getting yourselves out of situations that you may have placed yourself in. Um, either jobs or relationships, it's a time of rest. In a time of dealing with any wounds that are not quite healed just yet, um, it's a time to get your journal out and make sure that you're um, taking time to reawaken uh, the things that you wanted to actually do. You know, some time ago, maybe when it comes to career, um, just reevaluating those things. But make sure that you are not reawakening the the dead, so to speak, about issues that you put the nail in a coffin <laughs> towards in a way and not a reawakening those energies of past relationships that you know were not healthy so just keep that in mind so monday and tuesday the moon will be in leo and it's activating uh, this 12th house that we just spoke about so you do have the two of swords you have strength as a major arcana you have the king of pentacles then you have the eight of pentacles and other clarifying cards a clarified strength um, with the page of wands reverse so it seems to me that some of you are definitely overall um, could be focused on uh, money and finances right now uh, maybe with career uh, new plans it looks good when it comes to that for a lot of you but there could be some issues on the love front uh, with a particular leo uh, uh, aries or um, sagittarius some of you are dealing with another earth sign capricorn um, taurus or another virgo for sure and it's like you're definitely having to decide on what you want to do you know there could be two different romantic partners that you're taking up on um, this could be maybe someone from your past who you're trying to resolve some issues with say or a child uh, with strength being here who could be a fire sign um, that's not very happy they could be very angry um, a bit stubborn or your romantic partner whoever you may be dealing with could be having these particular issues and I do see though that this is a time uh, for you to really take care of yourself because you know there could be some doubts within you You may not be feeling like your best self at this time that 12th house being activated this is a time where it's almost it reminds me of the eighth house though um, but sometimes a bit more uh, tense as you start to move up you know in the the numbers it's like this is the closure this is like tying everything up trying to find that complete release and really figuring out what you want to do as your birthday picks up so i see a lot of hard work a lot of energy um the knight of pentacles is there uh, diligent focused um you can see how sunny that card is uh, even with the eight of pentacles it's working on yourself you know you're feeling a confident there with finances but maybe emotionally with a particular person uh, with communication not coming through them not speaking to you you're not speaking to them you two at different pages you know on different pages you know one person looking at the left one person looking at the right uh, what's right and wrong what's appropriate right now if you're just getting away from an intense a tense argument or a relationship you may not feel that it's quite right just yet um so you know they're there could be some things that are going on and maybe this person has children or you have children together with another person it could be an ex-partner um, or they have children to, with an ex-partner and they're still dealing with that particular person and you know it's not really um, something that you would like to deal with or that that person would like to deal with so I can see someone like often doing their own thing uh, this could be you like you know single-handedly taking care of themselves and being um their own shining knight in armor those kind of energies could be there so this is a uh, monday and tuesday so for wednesday and thursday we do have the moon in your sign virgo and that's activating your first house of self uh, your likes dislikes self-improvement pampering and asking for what you want and feeling a bit more in your element right now but we do have the will of fortune at the top as a major arcana it's reversed and i clarified that and you do have the nine of swords reverse with the magician a major arcana you have the ace of cups and the four of swords with the seven of cups reversed so you see the energy of the four of swords and um, i feel like you're you're 
trying to reevaluate, still resting, you know, reflecting about some things. Um, the timing right now to get what you want, you know, the manifestation power may not be as strong because you do have, you know, two energies kind of battling one another. You have the magician, then you have the will of fortune. The magician is someone who is trying to uh, do everything that they can to use all their assets and resources to get what they want. It's asking the universe for what you want or using what you have to get what you want, whether that's communicating, whether that's um, the way you uh, persuade somebody in a positive way, in an articulate way, or you use your money. Or um, if you're you have a body, if you're using your body to get things done energetically, um, these this is the energy that you do have. And especially with the swords, that intellect, using your mind, maybe to communicate to someone to get out of a certain um, heavy situation, maybe in love that you have been dealing with. And I feel here that some of you, um, that potential for love is there. And I feel like some of you have made a, a choice or a decision a while ago, or you're making one now, and you may feel like it's the wrong choice. If you're going back to something, or if you didn't didn't give someone uh, a chance, you feel like you may have missed out on an opportunity if you didn't, didn't give someone um, a good enough chance to get to know you. Those energies could be there if you're feeling like someone is walking away from you or making a, the wrong decision. I feel like a lot of frustration, illusions, like the fog is there right now. Um, you know, remember the the sign of Neptune. I mean, I said the sign, <laughs> the planet Neptune is retrograde. So that planet could force a lot of energies with confusion to have you assume different things. And it does have a lot of people face their fears um, because if we look at something and we want something and it's not really the way that we want it to be, we start to fret. We start to get um, a bit fearful and have to face those illusions through that kind of pain. But I feel like if you listen to yourself, if you go by how you feel, you can't go wrong. Go by how you feel and not necessarily by um, the advice that others are giving you. And I feel like you'll you'll be OK. So don't try to force situations. Try to allow the energies of the worries that you are uh, going through. The nine of swords in reverse could, for some, you know, it could be both things. It could be that you are getting over some uh, fears. But sometimes these could be intense purging. You know, that energy could be very intense where the fear could pick up right now to a very high degree. And it could have you thinking or dreaming about many different things and causing you to uh, say if there were arguments or threats and things like that being made, you may feel that that person is really going to retaliate. Um, especially with the nine of swords there in reverse with the seven of cups reversed. Um, you may feel like something is going to happen if you do take up on this new love interest or just things or not. If you take up on, on a move, if you move with someone or relocate, that it's not going to work out. Changing your job or scenery, that it could be a disaster, you know, and you may want to stay put. Those kind of things could be going on, but you just have to follow your gut, follow how you feel until you are able or you're clear on what you're feeling and then you'll make that decision so until then i feel like the four swords is really dominating everything even if you do have love on your mind or even using your create creative um talent to get what you want um if it's something new um, i feel like for a lot of you you're still reflecting on that before you rush in head first so um that energy is uh, wednesday and Thursday and you you do have Aries here and Pisces Scorpio Cancer I want to mention those uh, signs that's showing up all right so if we go for Friday and Saturday the moon will be in a Libra activating your second house of money and possessions focusing on how you handle money make money and the things you own now and would like to acquire and this is on the left and the death card it's there you have the ace of wands the ten of cups reversed the fool reversed you have the sun um, two major, three major arcanas, and then you have the nine of cups reversed. Um, and this is just on the left. We'll get to the right in a second. The death card is there uh, through. I feel still like this week is that energy of transformation. Remember, the two of swords was there, that energy of trying to uh, think about uh, what you wanted moving forward. I feel like you're is death to something, letting go of something. This could be a person, a Scorpio, a different person. You do have. Um, the fire sign you have leo here you have aries here there may be new passion and a newer relationship something that you would like to revive 
Um, this is potentially for some of you if you've the transition of someone, say for instance, and you are you know trying to heal from those pains, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a marriage or relationship, because you were just not happy there. The Ten of Cups has reversed um, a home environment that you are not happy in, um, where your your child was not happy there. You do have the fool. This could be a childlike energy that you are taking on. This could be energies of um, jumping into maybe purchasing a new home or something like that when you really don't have everything that you need right yet or jumping into a new relationship too quickly and you don't know the person you know these energies are there even though there's a lot of um, excitement that could be going on with you and another person um, I feel like you may need to take time to get to know them because it could be fun and and a lot of enjoyment maybe a lot of physical pleasure uh, with you and another person but you know with the sun being here you see the nine of cups reversed that could mean an overindulgence in sexual activity or drinking eating fun spending too much those kind of things which are you know risky um risky behavior um depending on how intense that may be but sometimes it's uh not trusting yourself you know trying to build up trust with another person here i feel like Especially if you are getting over maybe a Leo, uh, you see the Nine of Cups reverse right next to the Sun. Um, that's maybe still having feelings for another person, even though that connection didn't go a certain way. It doesn't have to be that particular sign, but these energies are there. I feel like as this transformation is happening with you of moving on, letting go of things, new energies coming to you, walking into newer doors. That's how I always uh, see uh, the Ace of Wands as a new beginning, fresh ideas. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to move forward with that particular relationship, but maybe you want to be friends and to get to know this person um, a bit more first. So you don't have a bad ending or a false start like maybe you've had in the past you know that's how i kind of see this um happening for um friday and saturday all right so we have on the right sunday is coming and you have the moon merging into scorpio and that's activating your third house of communication within your immediate environment dealing with your mother um friends that you may be around whoever is around you uh, maybe in the party scene maybe you have the ten of wands here you have the three of wands the empress is in reverse and then we have the three of cups in the upright position so intense celebrations maybe um an event you go to a club you go to a party um Maybe this is an event or something that you are throwing with the Ten of Wands. A lot of work being done, um, but also in relationships, there is energy of someone's not happy in that particular marriage or relationship. And maybe this is why you're going to party. Maybe you're getting out or away from that particular relationship because you're just wanting to free yourself away from that energy with you and another person. You know, two people are not looking in the same direction. Um, as one another you could be a part and this could be a Taurus maybe it's just the chemistry between you two is not really there maybe this is how someone may feel towards you and either you're still holding on to them or they're still holding on to you and the Empress is there as a female figure you could be a mother you could be a, a woman you could be a male it just depends but the Empress in reverse is lacking creativity she's lacking her own sensitivity nurturing and caring so it's meaning that her whole inner world could be a bit junky her external world could be like that as well disorganization um emotionally um just uh, volatile sometimes or codependent meaning she needs needs a lot of help she's asking for so much help and she's relying on others so this could be like your partner has been relying on you too much or you know you've been uh, relying on them too much it just depends um, on your circumstances you now we say you know the earth signs are very independent you know those things are there they're grounded but everyone is not automatically falling in that category so you know different people um, of each zodiac sign they take on the good traits or they can take on the bad traits for different times in their life so you may be around someone a, another earth sign who is not I'm able to stand up for themselves and take care of themselves or you may be falling into this kind of energy and that's why i feel like the energy of the um that money and possessions in the beginning is all part of the equation like your expansion the three of wands is there so i feel like sunday you may be thinking about how to maybe expand things to move forward maybe even in friendships the three of um, cups is there so it could be trying to um be around a different environment 
newer friends, a different location. Those kind of energies may be there. So just keep that into perspective. I just want to put that out. It just came to me, so I had to you know, say it. All right. So that is for Sunday. So we're going to see what's going on with you for um, from the Romance Angels and Fairies. So we do have from the Romance Angels and Fairies, Flirt. It says, extend your lighthearted energies to others. This is the single card and relationship card or marriage card where you're needing to speak, you know, um, bat your eyes, female or male as well, depending on how you flirt with others. Um, it just depends. Um, I feel here with the let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally as if you have met someone new, or you're getting to know someone new or trying to reconcile your relationship. Now, some of you could be a bit controlling in your relationship. I know some Virgos that actually admit they say i like to be controlling in my relationships you know some of them are like that not everyone but this is usually the card of when something is not going to plan i um, mean other things are needing to happen behind the scenes for certain outcomes to unfold um to your best interest like the universe wants the best for you but if something is not working out um it could be something that's uh, happening for the best for you um, and that other person so just make sure that you are paying attention to the red flags it says the signs are caution are cautioning you so that's when um, there is potentially a relationship that's probably in balance the, the empress codependent you're giving more the other person is not giving as much or um it's never going to be way you know the 50 50 kind of thing but that's what you want to push for you want to get to that you want to feel like it's there and until that's happening you make have to make sure that you're just watching for the signal so you don't just accept things um and then put yourself in a situation you just hard to get out of so it's like paying attention to the red flags if you're not liking something don't act like you're um like it's okay come speak up on it then you have love yourself first it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so i feel like that goes in hand in hand with to pay attention to the red flags it's important to you know have that assertiveness and uh, just be honest about how you feel i don't feel like y'all have a problem with doing that <laughs> so you do have new career from the fairies it says your work focus is shifting in a positive new and successful direction for many of you out there and these are generals so this may speak to your situation especially with those uh, pinnacle cards showing up and then you have everything's okay don't worry it's all working out in a beautiful way and that's part of letting go of the control issues all right so and that card does entail some patience on your part so i do hope that these messages helped you out this week Virgo. And if you would like a private reading, we can tap into your specific energy and personal situation. You can go to my website, psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you. So have a great week.